One thing I forgot to ask before we just moved on to 03, which was the Cultures, uh, the Cultures 2 compilation, mm -hmm. was when that was finished, and that's the one that had the Hood song on yep. it, that then goes, you know, on their release the following year. When that dropped, how did that sell in comparison to the first one? Like, smashed it. Like, times from, from two, times four. Uh, like, just so you... going, it's like, smashed it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Because it was... Different again, by that stage, Pegs um, had, was owning Obese. And yeah, he said, this is what I want to do. I want to take control of... I think to begin with, though, Kirk was doing distribution for it and then it just kind of got a bit too big. big. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, so basically Pegs, I think, took the reins with that and it just yeah went off from there. But that was good for him as well, though, because that set him up to being able to... Do the things that he did after with that. the next with that yeah. Hoods album that came out afterwards. Kind of, kind of not that it paved the way, but it opened a it lot of doors, man. Set it up, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like, "Well, this is what I've got next," and you know, now and it also gave him from him doing the he was earning, I forget how much it was per CD, but it was earning a bit, a bit yeah. and he could put that back into, you know. Now lyrical commission were not on cultures too. Now Bob Balance was, yeah. Ah, so why weren't lyric? Did you? I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, I can't remember. But Bob Balance was. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Th yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah. And then so, once cultures, so once cultures two drops, it smashes number one. Yeah. I'm assuming you expected that it would smash it got, number one. Um, got Triple J album of the week as well, which just sent it to like another. Yeah, another yeah. level. And yeah. then, so what songs were they spinning uh, off? Delta's. For the um, Kings. Yep. Yeah, um, Solomon Klepto's. Um, yeah, there's a few. There's maybe four that were on he pretty heavy. So regime. that actually, so Culture Kings 2 actually yeah. got spun on Triple J. Yeah. It was but not Daytime. No, 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 no. It was their album of the week. Like, So it even got Daytime spins. That was spins. the first um, Oz Hip Hop. Wow. Uh, yeah, that was like their feature album for the week. So yeah, yeah. so that got daytime yep. spins. Oh yeah, like two to an hour or something, man. It was wow. like, and, and talked about during each. Yeah, it was nuts, man. It just laid the, you know, and that came about through Kirk. Kirk knew, oh, what's his name? Kirk knew someone, and it was a, like a bottle of vodka or something that he paid him to do it. And the dude, I think he might have even been working there or whatever. And they have like a weekly meeting to decide. And he, yeah, dude put it on the table, and so this is happening. And the sheer size of it. Like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah we're used bugging out. Look, yeah, dude, yeah. You get Kirk, a daytime. I remember getting the call from Kirk saying, uh, what's his name? Oh, man. Kingsmill. Oh, no. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's the dude from Triple J. But yeah, the yeah. dude Kirk um, knew to get it in there. He phoned him and said, I think, you've, I think you've got a pretty good chance of getting out of the week or whatever. And Kirk told me, like, what the fuck? Like, this is going to go nuts. And dude, it was like, yeah. yeah and that was the first um, Aussie hip hop album, I think. Yeah, and then The Hood's got it for their album afterwards, I think. Oh, but it, yeah. I mean, it opened a lot of doors, man. For you, just widened the listening audience. Because literally, Triple J would have had really no nah. idea about any nah. of these artists. No. Nah. So that would have. So basically, yeah. that could have potentially been the first time that Triple J's caught onto the hoods and Blisson S and everyone whatever, else. You know, like yeah. Wow. Well, not necessarily the hoods or whatever, because they probably already may have known. I'm not sure, but it certainly opened. Doors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's definitely put things on their radar. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Wow, and, you, and you had yeah. a, a solid end. That's a pretty yeah. big. Yeah, that's know. that's one of the best things to come from an old man. Just that opening there. Yeah. Like, yeah. Wow. You know, it just opened a lot of people. You know, during the day. So oh, this is happening here, like man. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Absolutely. I mean, because like, even if you get album of the week on Triple J now, mm -hmm. in 2021, yeah, that still sends motherfuckers yeah. like doing backflips yeah. and shit. Yeah. To get it then mm. off a compilation yeah. when Aussie hip hop was not yeah. on mainstream yeah. anything mm. is a massive accolade. Yeah. Well done. I didn't know yeah, that shit. Eh? <laughs> There's a lot of people involved, man. It's me all pulling strings and everyone as well. Well, yeah. But yeah. To everyone but yeah. involved. But yeah, yeah that's yeah, what, I didn't know that, man. A lot of people must have been happy with you that week. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that's why, like, when people talk about, like, contracts and from this, looking back at that period, it did exactly what it was meant to meant do, to do, man. Yeah. It was like a promotional thing for the scene to and then you can springboard you can do whatever that. you want from it yeah. what dudes did you know now i guess on that topic you know on the first one you had a couple of people come back yep and say we would like some royalties because mm -hmm. it's done well and that had you know 15 18 20 people on it yep. this has got 44 tracks on yep. it this has made way more money mm. 
So I'm going to assume or guess that more people came back asking nah, for money. Nah. nah. Basically, because at the start when I approach people, I've promised them that they'd be going into state to do shows. You and know? that was the and thing. That was, like that the, was the thing, man. Like, that's what it. people wanted. Yeah. And at that stage, you know, oh, great. We're going to get to go. Like Downside came here. Uh, Downside, I think, went to Sydney as well. You know, and it, I tried to get everyone that was on moving around like jigs. It was crazy. Hard to do. Yeah. yeah but yeah. everyone got shows. Yeah, wow. Yeah. So then how much, because off the first one, Even, I think you just. I think we brought Crixus from Tasmania up here to Adelaide to do a, you know. And that's yeah. the first time he would have performed in, yeah. So if the first one you just did Adelaide and Melbourne, yep. the second one you did the same? Or no, did you we do did more? Uh, Adelaide, Melbourne, Sydney. Um, I'm not sure if we did Brisbane. I don't think we did Brisbane, no. So you did the three shows yeah, on the second yeah. one. The All Sydney successful. One, Sydney one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Yeah, real good. Okay, and then so at this point, everyone's happy. No one's asking for money. No one's complaining. Not it's to me. all thumbs up across the board. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Multiple thumbs up. <laughs> Killer. Yeah. The, the, the last Oh, yeah.